I don't know who needs to hear this, but you cannot die for free in South Africa. There's a wide range of costs that you need to take care of. And let's break that down. Firstly, know that death is guaranteed for everybody. Nobody knows when, where, or how they're going to pass away. And if it happens to be in a hospital and there are costs associated with the ailment that you passed away from that is not covered by your medical aid, your family needs to foot the bill for the costs. Then there's your funeral and your burial expenses. That's dependent on your culture and the traditions that your family follows. And those costs need to be provided for. Then there's ongoing family bills and if you are the breadwinner, this is something that should be on your mind. When you pass away, your bank accounts will be frozen. Your family still has bills to pay. They need to eat, school fees, medical aid, all of that needs to be paid and you need to plan for this. Then there's the master's fee. The masters of the high court in South Africa, they have a role to play with winding up your estate and they have a fee attached to the role that they play and you can't talk to them for free. There's official correspondence that needs to happen and there are costs to that. Then there's executive fees of 3.5% of the value of your estate plus VAT. For example, if you pass away with an estate of 3 million rands, your executive fee could be around 120,000 rand plus. If you own property, know that there are conveyance attorney fees. For example, whoever you leave your property to, the transfer of their property needs to take place and an attorney does that and there's a cost associated with that. To transfer a property of 1.8 million rands, the cost of that could easily be around 30,000 rands. If your estate is over 3.5 million, a 20% estate duty is payable. And if your estate is worth over 30 million rand, then it's a 25% from that point. If you have under 18 kids, this is very important. If you have under 18 kids, a testamentary trust is, is always recommended to ensure that uh, your family, your children, your minor kids are taken care of. And this can be a costly process to set up. It could be 1.15% of the value that goes into that testamentary trust. An annual fee of 1.6% of the value of that trust as well could be charged every year. If you have assets in a testamentary trust worth 1.5 million over a 15 year period, this could be well over 370,000 rands just in fees alone. And there's clearance fees paid to your local municipality with regards to your property. And if you transfer property, you know that you got to pay six months upfront. Then your estate, that winding up process needs to be advertised in the local newspapers. This could be dependent on your area anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 rands. Then capital gains tax, if you if you are in a profit at the time of your death uh, on those capital assets, you would be liable or your state would be a liable for capital gains tax. So there you go, <laughs> proof that you cannot die for free in South Africa. And if you have minor kids or spouse or parents that depend on you, you need to plan for this. And if you are somebody that's committed to building generational wealth where you don't want your children to start from zero in their generation, you need to plan for this. And this process is called estate planning. And I would love to assist you in that process. DM me and we can chat.